Uh, my name is Ray and I work for the Vickery Meadows Improvement Project and what I'm doing here is just where we see graffiti, just covering it up and trying to get things cleaned up around the neighborhood and make it a better community. I see quite a bit of carts, Fiesta, Target, Sam's, I see them all around all the time and it seems like it's part of the community but it shouldn't have to be that way. I believe that the uh, companies should actually clean up after themselves or at least put a stop to it. It, it makes everybody feel like, oh, it's okay if this person can do it, then that means I can do it and just leave it anywhere I want to. Okay, so tell me your name. It's Josh Parr. I think it um, devalues the neighborhood. Well, if somebody's looking to live here, they, they probably expect, you know, cheaper rent. I only bought my place because I thought the area was being cleaned up. My name is Lori Garcia and I'm from Woodland Apartments. I'm the property manager. How I feel about shopping carts in the neighborhood is they're disgusting. They're, they make the property look dirty. Our maintenance pick them up every morning. On a daily basis, I could say maybe like four or five every day. My name is Greg Cornwell and I own five properties here at the Vickery Meadow Improvement District area. I think the abandoned shopping cart is a blight on our community. It shows lack of respect for the community. Uh, the, it shows that it's not an area that uh, cleanliness is a priority. Higher crime, uh, a messy community, you have graffiti, you have uh, trash, litter, uh, it just breeds upon itself. Well, they see the they see the blight in the neighborhood, and uh, that's a tendency to scare people off.